Hi, I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and out of nowhere, a brand new trailer for Pokemon Sword and Shield dropped today, revealing lots of new Pokemon, lots of new features for the game, and many other exciting things. And while a lot of it was thrown right into your face, there was a lot of stuff that was also hidden in the trailer. So today, we're gonna do my favorite thing ever and analyze the new Pokemon Sword and Shield trailer and dissect it piece by piece and find all the hidden details like the two hidden Pokemon that were very, very easy to miss. Before we start, if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up because YouTube really likes it when you guys do that. And without further ado, let's jump right into the breakdown. Now the trailer starts off pretty interestingly. You see your player character walking out into a big gym stadium, and you meet a new character, Chairman Rose, who throws a Pokeball. According to the official Pokemon website, Chairman Rose is the chairman of the Galar Pokemon League, and also the president of a large business conglomerate. And right as he throws the Pokeball, the screen turns white, but if you slow down the footage and look really closely, you'll see a Pokemon actually comes out of that Pokeball. Now this here was edited very sneakily by Nintendo. With the way they edited it, and the way they did the transition, it looks like the Pokemon that he's sending out of that ball is Alcremi, the Pokemon that's revealed next. However, if you slow down the footage and look very carefully at that white spot, that's definitely not an Alcremi. Instead, it looks almost like a four-legged teapot with a big snout. Now unfortunately, this is the best image we have of this Pokemon, but it's clearly something that we have not seen before. I've heard rumors online calling this an Elephant's Teapot Pokemon, which makes sense, it has four legs and a very long snout looking thing, so who knows, this could be the new Elephant Pokemon of Generation 8. What I find really interesting is that even though the trailer went on to reveal three Pokemon, this little elephant looking thing was not shown at all in the rest of the trailer, making this truly a hidden Pokemon. Then after that, we get a nice montage of four new Pokemon, well technically three new Pokemon and one we've already seen before, officially revealed to us. Alcremie, Yamper, Rolicoli, and Duraludon. In the comments section, let me know which one of these four is your favorite. But around 47 seconds into the trailer, it starts to get very interesting again. We get a nice picture of Leon turned around facing behind, so we get to see his cape. And wow, there is a lot of stuff on his cape. And if you actually zoom in really closely to Leon's cape, you could actually see what some of the symbols are. For example, right below his hair, you could see there's the gym symbol for the gyms in the Galar region. A lot of the other stickers could be chalked up to being sponsorships or advertisements. Advertisements. We know Leon is the champion of the Gala region, so I'm sure there's a lot of people that would pay Leon a lot of money to walk around the Gala region with their brand on his cape. I'm thinking that black bird at the bottom could be a Corviknight, and fun little fact, the symbol at the bottom right of his cape is actually the Game Freak symbol. Nice little easter egg they put in there since they created the game. At 51 seconds into the trailer, we see Chairman Rose once again, although this time, in the background, we can see the silhouette of that fast dog-looking Pokémon. You might remember seeing this same silhouette from the first ever Pokémon Sword and Shield trailer, where it was very well hidden. They also showed it one more time in this trailer, only 13 seconds in for just a moment. Now I find it very interesting that this time, it's basically put right in our faces. Ever since Yamper was officially revealed back at E3, I've had a theory that this hidden silhouette Pokemon is actually going to be Yamper's evolution. They're both dog-like Pokemon, they both have lightning bolt shaped tails, and that's just scratching the surface. If you want to hear my full thoughts on why this is going to be Yamper's evolution, I'll have a link to that video in the description as well as at the end of this video. Also, is anyone else kind of getting bad guy vibes from Chairman Rose? I don't know, I just don't trust them.
Now this next part is Easter Egg Frenzy. Get ready. First off, we meet a woman called Olina, who according to the Pokemon website is Chairman Rose's secretary and is known for her calm and collected personality. She also serves as the vice president for Rose's company and is in charge of a lot of the day-to-day -day operations. Again, I'm getting real big bad guy vibes here. But enough with the vibes. At 56 seconds, if you look at the wall and look at one of the posters, you'll notice a familiar Pokemon there. It's Impidimp. Now, Impidimp has not been officially revealed by the Pokemon company just yet in a big presentation like this trailer. However, we do know Impidimp from the E3 demo. I'm actually kind of surprised that they put it in the background of this trailer, but didn't just straight up announce it. Then, just a second later, on the other side of the stadium, we see a gym leader walking out. But if we look at the poster on the wall once again, we'll see something kind of cool. There's a C with a gear in the middle of it. For those of you that have played Pokemon Black and White, you'll remember the C gear as that little thing on the bottom screen with so many functions, like entering the Entra Link, letting you trade Pokemon, and making phone calls. Now I don't think the sea gear is going to be in this game at all, but I do think it's just a nice little easter egg and reference to the older games. Just a moment later we get a nice shot that shows both of these things on the screen at the same time. And at 58 seconds in, here's something that has me very confused. Once again, we're looking at the posters on the wall. If you zoom in really closely, you'll be able to see this green froggish looking thing, but it almost looks like it has human features as well. It might be wearing glasses. I can't really tell what it is from this picture. This could be a new Pokemon, this could be a new character, or it could just be nothing. But it's definitely something there, and it's something interesting to think about. Coming up next, we get introduced to two new gym leaders, Alistair and Bia. What's interesting about these gym leaders is their version exclusives. If you play Pokemon Sword, you're going to have to fight Bia. If you play Pokemon Shield, you're going to fight Alistair. I think the last time that Pokemon did version exclusive gym leaders was with Pokemon Black and White, so who knows, maybe there is a connection to Pokemon Black and White in Sword and Shield. Maybe that little sea gear on the wall isn't just an easter egg and maybe you'll get one after all. Then the last part of the trailer focuses on the new mechanic, Gigantamax. Gigantamaxing is very similar to Dynamaxing in that it increases the size of your Pokemon, however Gigantamaxing is also going to change its shape a little bit too. In the trailer we get to see Alcremi turn into a giant layered cake, kinda freaky, a Dreadnaw stand up on its legs, and there's also a Gigantamax Corviknight, but to be quite honest, I don't really notice a difference. And another major difference between Dynamax and Gigantamaxing is that only certain Pokemon will be able to Gigantamax. And out of those certain Pokemon, only special versions of those certain Pokemon are actually going to be able to do it. The Pokemon website uses a few examples to explain this. They say if you catch a regular Dreadnought and a regular Corviknight, which I'm assuming are just Pokemon you catch in the wild grass, they'll be able to Dynamax just fine, but they won't be able to Gigantamax. However, if you caught that Dreadnought or Corviknight in a max raid battle, then it'll get access to that special Gigantamax form. Overall, this kind of sounds like just a big replacement for Mega Evolution, which makes me kind of wonder why they got rid of Mega Evolution in the first place, because it's basically the same thing. If you guys have been following the channel for a little bit, then you know by now that the leaks I covered about a month and a half ago are 100% confirmed at this point. Everything mentioned in those leaks has just come true over time, including Gigantamaxing. So with that being said, we also know that a few other Pokemon are going to be able to Gigantamax in this game as well. Meowth will be one of them, and it's going to look like a long cat. Lapras is also going to get a Gigantamaxing form that's going to add layers of musical notes to its shell. And of course, Pikachu will be able to Gigantamax, and it'll be a little bit of a chunkier boy. If you missed that video covering the leaks, I'll link that one also down in the description, but be warned, almost everything mentioned in that leak has come true, so that means the stuff that hasn't come true yet will probably be revealed at a later date, so spoilers. 
And with that, my friends, you now know all the hidden details in this trailer, as well as the two or potentially three hidden Pokemon that we probably weren't supposed to find, but come on, we're Pokemon fans, we dig through this stuff and we're gonna find it. If you enjoyed this video and you have not already given it a thumbs up, go ahead and do that now, as well as subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching, and my friends, I'll be seeing you in the next one.